Hello and welcome. My name is Patrick Powers, trainer and BI consultant with Centurus Incorporated. Today I'll be showing you some sample material from one of our Tableau classes, specifically our Mastering Level of Details Calculation class. In this demo, we'll leverage the include function to create a visualization that compares average sales at the transaction level versus the order level. I've started a new worksheet, which I've renamed Average Order Sales Per Order Versus Transaction, and I'm using the Order Sample Superstore data set. So we'll start out by putting region on the columns and sales on the rows. We'll then go ahead and we'll change this from a measure sum to an average. Let's set it to entire view so we can see the entire four bars. Now, we want to compare this to the average at the order ID level. If you're familiar with the sample superstore, you know that our unique item is the row ID. So this is giving us the average per row ID. So I'm going to create a calculated field called order sales, and I'm going to use the include function. Include order ID sum sales. This will make sure that regardless of what's on my visualization, I'm including the order ID in the calculation and the aggregation. Let's format that so that it matches our other data item. And let's make sure that this stays as bars when I bring this up here to the rows. I'm going to change it to an average. And now I see I have the average of the sales versus the average of the order. Let's lay these on top of each other so we can see what that difference looks like. So I'm going to right click this and I'm going to pick a dual axis. I'm going to synchronize my axis and I'm going to move these marks to the back. I'm going to take the average sales marks card and I'm going to reduce the size of that bar so it'll be easier to see. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and set some colors too. I'm going to change this to a gray, and I'm going to set this one to a blue. That makes it easier for us to see our two bars. I'm going to take the average sales mark, and I'm going to control drag average sales from the rows to the label. Then I'll go to the average order sales mark, and I'll control drag this to the label. So we can see that we have a big difference between our two values. Now, while I could have just simply created a sum sales divided by count D order ID, that doesn't give me as much flexibility. By using the include level of detail, I've got more flexibility in what I can do with this later. So I'm going to duplicate this worksheet. I'm going to call it include expanded and let's take a look at this so I'm going to go to the average order sales group and I'm going to take average order sales and put it on the tooltip I'm going to change the aggregation on that from sum to average then I'll drag it over a second time change the aggregation to maximum and drag it over one more time to the tooltip leaving it as a sum. Now if I had just a regular calculated field I wouldn't be able to manipulate it in this fashion. When I look at one of these I can now see my average, my max, and my sum on the tooltip for each bar. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a sample. We get into much more detail in this class, including using exclude, fixed, nested LODs, parameters with LODs, and everything you could want to know about level of detail calculations. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website at www.centurus.com or send an email to info at centurus.com. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.